Mary meets a daytime diva. I hear that you're a Blair fan, and I thought yes, you were going to get to see definitely. me in this fit. Okay, Blair, Kramer women, yes. This is all fake blood. Everything's okay. fake. These are real. But I'm not <laughs> okay. What do you think, Bob? Thank you, darling. I, I know you. Beautiful. Am I beautiful? Oh, totally. Okay. You know. You know you wouldn't be bad for Bob. Mm -hmm. Love That's right, baby. Okay. Cool. <laughs> do you want to come be in the trunk of a car for about a month or so? ABC's Fan February. Mr. Buchanan, I apologize. He insisted. Hand over my son. I'm taking him home. He is home. Not according to the courts, Kevin. You're not in court, Chandler. Now you, get the hell out of my house. You know, I have three marshals standing right outside if you guys give me any trouble. <sighs> it's over, Kevin. Where's my son? Kevin must be going through hell right now. Yeah, well, it's his own bad karma coming back to bite him. I'll take that. No, more like his ex-wife. Hey. Don't talk like that. You just did what you thought was best for that little boy. Yeah, and look what good it did. Kevin really loves Ace. <laughs> if he really wanted that kid, he should have bribed the judge. Will you just stop what? saying that? He's saying goodbye to him right now. I know what that's like. I've been there. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I'm sorry. Hey, Star. Hey. How you doing? How do you think? Listen, I heard about your mom and dad. If you want to talk. It's OK. I broadcast their picture on the internet and put my cell phone up there and also a $10,000 reward. So if anyone sees them, I know about the explosion. And Vicky told me that dad could still be alive. And she never lies. You lied to that child. No, I most certainly did not. Todd is dead. It's cruel to let her believe otherwise. I'm sorry, but my brother had cheated death more than once. We were there. We saw that cabin explode. There's no way anyone walked away from it. Dorian, we don't even know for a fact that he was in there, okay? In any case, I'm not going to believe until... I'm not going to believe that he's gone until I have proof. And Star won't either, no matter what we tell her. You're not ready to accept the truth yourself, are you? Come on, they didn't find anything. They found no remains, nothing. That's true? Yes. So I suppose it is possible that Todd got out of there. from these babies. I did good, huh? Let's do it. Did you hear
Where did you find this? On the floor. How come you didn't want me to see it? Ace is taking a nap. I'll hand him over as soon as he wakes up. Hell no! Ah, oh, the court made its ruling. I've got to give Ace to JR. Grandpa said he wanted to send Ace away on his jet, or you couldn't find him. But Kevin said no. He said he wanted a case fair and square. There's nothing we can do about it. What's your name, buddy? Matthew. Bill Buchanan's my dad. Another one, huh? Get out while you still can, kid. Watch your step, Chandler. I'm okay, Dad. I just feel sorry for Ace. Don't you worry, Matthew. I'm hiring a whole bunch of lawyers. This, my friend, is not over. Yes, Grandpa. It is. You're really gonna let him just take Ace? I don't have a choice, Matthew. Of course, says we have to. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> Me too. A lot. But I don't think for a minute that the Chandlers are a better family for him than we are. You're damn straight. Okay, you know, I've had about enough. Either you wake up my son and give him to me... Or what? What, are you gonna bust down his bedroom door? <sighs> my father was right about you. You just think of Ace as some kind of trophy, don't you? I'm sorry, he's my son. He's my flesh and blood. I just want to take him back home. Back to where he belongs. You cannot give him up, Kevin. Well, you think I want to? I give up everything I have to keep you. How come it still be the same? Here he is, fresh from his slumber. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> How are you? Give us some time to say goodbye. You people had him for months. I missed the first year of my son's life. It's my turn now. Listen, you have the rest of your life with him. Okay, we're just asking for a few minutes. I don't trust you. Any of you. We just want to say goodbye, that's all. All right. Fifteen minutes. But don't try anything. I'm gonna be outside with the marshals. will come home safe. They will, I know it. Just waiting for this phone to rip. But we Kramer women are real fighters. We don't give up until we get what we want right. Right? I'm so sorry. I forgot about the custody battle. Can Ace stay here in Landview? No. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's not. It really, really sucks. But you know what? My mom and dad are gonna come back. And when they do, I'm gonna have a huge celebration. I promise. This car's gonna have a speed limit downstairs. Hey, if I get caught, I go to prison for sure. Please don't get caught.
Any other notes like this? The truth, Jess. No, not since Chris. The imposter's hearing. I just, Antonio, I, I've been asleep since last night. I didn't wake up at all, and I didn't leave this room. So the stalker was in here with you. Get your things, we're leaving. No. It's not up for discussion. You're not staying here. Well, I can't leave. This is why Are you I trying to get to... yourself killed, honey. Leo. My Uncle Todd is missing. He's probably dead. My mom is a wreck. Natalie has lost Christian for the second time. Kevin's probably gonna lose his son. My family is in trouble. I can't leave. Oh, Sergeant Oaks, yes, hello. This is Victoria Davidson calling, and, and I'm sorry to bother you, but I was just wondering if perhaps you'd had any word at all on my brother, Todd Manning, or on Blair Kramer, or, or do you know if they found anything up at that cabin? Ask him about the car. Does he know that Blair is, is locked up inside the trunk Shh. of the car? They should I'm have sorry, the highway patrol really search you. every inch of the state. I'm sorry. Excuse me a minute, Dorian, please. Oh, for I can't hear anything the man is saying. For goodness sakes, Vicky, hello. Officer Oaks? Sergeant Oaks, yes, whatever. Uh, no, no, Mrs. Davidson is perfectly fine. It's just, I am Dr. Dorian Lord. I'm Blair Kramer's aunt. Yes. Now, I want to make sure that you are searching everywhere for, for Margaret Cochran's car. Blair is probably locked up in the trunk of that car. And fine, then let me talk to the commissioner. He hung up. I'm surprised it took him that long. We have a right to be informed. I agree with you, Dorian. I'm going over there. No, please do not do that. Stay here. Bo will be here shortly, and then he'll tell us what's shortly, going on. Shortly, yes. shortly, shortly. Bo should be here right now. Oh, Vicky, this is all your fault. No. You're so, you're so nice and polite on the phone. Nice and polite are not going to cut it in a situation Dorian, like this. You know, one day I'm going to put you two in a ring and sell tickets. Oh, Kelly, you look exhausted. What happened in court? J.R. was awarded full custody of Ace. Oh, no. I should have known that Adam Chandler would find a way to buy the judge. Buy the judge, the police force, pretty much anyone in town, with the obvious exception of me. <sighs> that poor child. I can't even think about it. I mean, it's just awful what Kevin and Babe are going through. I don't care about Kevin or Babe. No, frankly, the only person I care about is you, Kelly. Are you all right? I will be. It's just going to take some time. I'm so, so sorry. I know how much you wanted Babe to have Ace. Babe said that if she got custody, she would make sure that Kevin and I were a part of Ace's life. JR isn't going to let us anywhere near that child. Oh, looking on the bright side, at least Kevin got what he deserved. Dorian, will you knock it off? Here we go, round two. Kevin dropped his claim to Ace before the judge ruled. He backed Babe. Are you serious? What changed his mind? I did. Kelly perjured herself. Yes, it was quite horrifying. I don't understand. What happened? I told the judge that I gave Babe permission to take Ace. Which made you the kidnapper. I did what I had to do, and Kevin supported me. But it didn't do any good. The one person who didn't deserve that child won. Chandler's acted like it was some kind of hostile takeover. Babe never stood a chance. Maybe, maybe Kevin could have fought them, but... I made him back off. And now he'll never forgive me for it. My dad gave this to me when he first took me riding. Sometimes when I get scared, I put it on. It makes me feel like my dad's there with me. Maybe it'll help him when he's lonely, even if he doesn't remember us. He'll remember us. We'll see then. Good. Because I'm going to miss him. It was fun having a little cousin. Hey, hey, little man. You don't have to worry, because the Buchanans are going to be watching your back. Anything you need, kid. I appreciate it, Bill.
fights. Thanks, buddy. Good job. Matthew. Yeah, Dad. I'm proud of you. You are? Yeah. What you just did in there? I know with Kevin, with these. I just feel bad for them. Yourself, little one. You won't be forgotten. I'll be looking after you, little fella. He may not know it, but you will never be alone. Mm. Bye bye. Brothers may not be by blood, but been the same dad for the first year of our lives. You know, he gave us the most important thing there is. Love. But I wish I could say it's gonna be easy for you. But it's not. I've been there. But someday, when you're my age. How much my dad loves you. <laughs> Trust me. You can't ask for more than that. No. You stay. From the first minute I saw you, you were my son. You know that? We are quite a team, you and me, aren't we? Hmm? And I know that when you look at me and you hold out your arms, I'm your dad. I'm going to miss you so much. Yeah, we had our whole lives planned out together, didn't we? That's right, we were going to do all the things that Duke and I never did together. I tried to protect you, Ace. I did, and I'm sorry I let you down. I hope you'll forgive me for that someday. Taking Ace to Pine Valley tonight. Kevin must be heartbroken. He's destroyed. And there's nothing I can do to help him. I don't think he'll even speak to me. That may be for the best. And if Babe is half the woman that you say she is, well then she'll fight back and she'll do everything she has to to get that baby back. How? How do you fight the Chandlers? She'll find a way, just like you found a way to fight the big And one. besides, since you took the rap for the kidnapping, Babe will have a much better shot at the appeal. You did everything you could for the child that you loved. And it doesn't matter that it didn't work. What matters is that you tried. 
I totally agree with Dorian. But you took a terrible chance, Kelly. I lied. I know you did. But a child's life was at stake. Look, I'm going to go and see Kevin. He's going to need his family tonight. Uh, please stay as long as you like, okay? Kevin. Okay. I'm so sorry. All right, Kelly. Now it's time for you to do what Kramer women do best. Hang tough, be bold, reinvent yourself. There isn't anything that you can't do. You're right. You're right. Uh, I'm... I'm going to concentrate on something else. Star and Jack need their mother. We're going to find Blair. Oh, Bo. Hey, Matthew. Hi, I'm Vicky. Hi. Is Star here? Uh, yes, she is. I, I, she's in the kitchen. I, I just found out about JR getting custody, so I was on my way to see Kevin. But do you have any news? Uh, we did uh, get some information that might help us find Blair. Okay, and Todd? Well, they're uh, still searching the scene. We think that we'll probably find evidence that Todd was in the cabin when it exploded. I'm sorry, Vicky. Look, I can't lie to you. We think we'll find remains. Margaret, if that's you, I swear to God, I'm... Like I'm gonna be safer anywhere else. With me, you will. My mom has 24 hours security. <laughs> the stalker was in your room. In your room. way. He knows I could take care of myself, but to threaten the woman I love, it's far worse than anything he could do to me alone. I just can't help wondering. What? Dad with a few things. Yeah, we were cleaning out the nursery. Didn't really go through them all. Uh, you think they could use some of Ace's things at the Love Center? Oh, my, yes. They'd be very grateful. Uh, I'll bring them by in the morning, then. Thank you, darling. And I got to go steady. OK. Night, Dad. Oh, wait a second. Listen, I'm going to leave town for a few days. You are? When? Tonight, I'm going to go up to the lodge. Oh, Kevin, it's so lonely up there. Well, I know, but, you know, if I stay here, I'll have to explain myself to everyone, let them know that I'm okay. You know, I just need a few days alone to figure out what I'm going to do with myself. Mm. You want me to go with you, Dad? You'd do that, wouldn't you? All I got to do is ask. Uh, 
next time. Right now, I just need to not talk to anyone. You understand? Thanks again for coming into court, saying what you said. Um, I'm gonna do better, son. I promise. All right. I'll see you when you get back. All right. I'm gonna be okay. I know you will. I just can't help thinking that Ace is gonna make JR a better man just like he did me. You know? Ace, Duke, boy, they're a lot better than JR and I deserve. I'll tell you that. Honey, your sons are the best part of you because they show you what's possible. The thing is, you have to act on it. Case is gonna be okay. I have to believe that. I wish you could say that to Kelly. It would make her feel better. Well, I'm really interested in making Kelly feel better. I'm sorry about the way things went down with Ace. How's Kevin? That's well, a rough day. Any word about Blair? We found a uh, charge slip from one of her credit cards in the debris at the cabin. It was for a pair of walkie-talkies. Now, the owner of this store confirms that it was Margaret who made that purchase, and that was the same night that uh, Marcy Walsh was hit outside of Rhodes. We believe that Margaret was the driver that hit her, which would mean that she's driving east on Route 187, headed out of town. We were driving west on 187 that night, and, and, and a crazy driver nearly forced us off the road. Oh, my God. Do you think we were really that close to Blair? Do you remember anything about that car or the driver? I remember grabbing the wheel so that Vicky wouldn't get us killed. Well, now, hold on. Forget Vicky. This could be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dorian, just, just think. I mean, you notice everything. What do you remember seeing? So your dad was blown up and you went through it? How? Well... I guess he ran out right before the explosion. My dad is really strong and determined. He's okay. I know he is. I hope you're right. Me too. You just said you were sure. Matthew, if you tell anybody this, I, sw I swear I will plant a bomb in your room and blow you up. I promise I won't tell. I'm afraid my dad is dead. For real this time. was coming straight at us. The lights were on bright, so I could barely see. Vicky froze, though. She nearly let that car run right into us. That's why I grabbed the wheel. Oh, she gave me hell afterwards. Oh, everyone's still here. Bo thinks Margaret might have been the one that hit Marcy Walsh. Yes, yes, I know. He had told me that. But not only that, she was probably the driver of the car that ran us off the road that night, remember? That was Margaret? Yes. Do you remember anything about the car uh, itself? Do you remember the color, make, model? 
Well, I was distracted because Dorian grabbed the wheel. And saved our lives. Thank you very much, Vicky. Wasn't paying any attention to the car. Well, excuse me, but actually, yes, I was. And I told you I had seen the car. For your information, it was a four-door sedan. And I know it was light in color. It could even have been metallic. And I'm sure that it was a foreign car. That sounds like Margaret's car. And if she was traveling east like we think she was, and if Blair could make radio contact back to us, they, they can't have gone that far. situation up here, then you need to call the cops. doesn't change how I feel. I miss you. But I miss you, too. I miss this little guy already. <laughs> Grandpa, it's a nice night. Why don't we saddle up the horses, take a little moonlight ride? It's cold. Uh, no, no, no. I have a better idea. Hand me the phone, Nigel. I'm gonna call up... Adam Chandler and put the screws to him. Oh, please. Stop looking at each other like that. I know what I'm doing. Whenever I'm tempted to do something punitive, I step back and consider, what is it that I want to gain from my actions? What result do you want to achieve, sir? I want to give that bastard Chandler a very hard time. In that case, go right ahead. Yeah, every available unit. We're looking for uh, an abandoned four-door sedan. Uh, light in color, possible metallic, foreign make. Are you sure that you remember all of that about the car? Blair's life is at stake. Do you seriously think I would make it up? Oh, I seriously think that you would take any advantage to show me up. <clears throat> you know yet what? again. You know what? You have not had a proper opportunity to say hello to me. Come here. Come with me. Oh. Hey. Kevin thinks that Ace is going to be fine, you know. He thinks it's going to make J.R. a better person. You really think that's possible? Yeah, I do. Uh, you know, Ace is, is a wonderful little boy. And he's JR's first child. So I think if there's even an ounce of goodness in JR, Ace will bring it out of him. You know, I, I have faith. I wish I could have faith. Babe told me so many horrible things. Kelly, I think God is going to watch out for that little boy. I promise you. So you really think your dad's dead? I don't know. Everyone keeps telling me that they think so, but no one will tell me the truth. They never do. But if he really was dead, they would have to tell you. I guess. Besides, I really believe what you said before. How your dad's indestructible. Isn't he? Yeah. He is. So he's out there somewhere. He just can't get back right now? What if we never find him? And my mom? What if we never...
never find her. What do you mean, no cops? All right, sure, it's right. Well, it's the one up here with no plates. Owner paid cash. Technically, you could say it's abandoned. Uh, will do. I'll have it towed to the Crusher ASAP. She'll be flat as a pancake by morning. Hey, buddy, can you hear me? Hey, you all right? Oh, my God, Manny, is that you? Uh, somebody really has it in for me. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. You think Jane murdered Paul Kramer? If I lean on John right now, I'm going to want more than just one job. Well, you can hold out of your ASAP. Compressive in this crowd now. He's going to sit there and you're going to help me. I just lost the most important person in my life because he had to leave you out here to die.